What about, about skating, dude? Are you uh, you rolling around these days or what's your vibe like? What it's like around here is uh, the kids are doing their homeschooling thing mm. because of COVID. They're not even going to school. Right. Um, they had started like a hybrid schedule where they were doing a half day, mm -hmm. but they only went in at they went in at 750 in the morning and they came out at uh, 1025. Oh, wow. So mm. Three hours, like, you know, two and a half. Hours. It wasn't long enough to even go to a skate park and no. film something and come back. So I ended up just um, doing my trick a day on the ramp again because we have our mini ramp in the backyard. Amazing. Mm -hmm. so I sparked it up and just like, you know what? That's what I have time for. So that's what I'm going to do. Hey, so I did a trick a day and it's a different trick every day. And I did this back in uh, 2017, I think. No, yeah. but this was street. You were doing shit on street, though. It wasn't yeah. on your ramp. Well, that's the difference with this one. If I can't <laughs> oh go out and skate street, right. it's going to be on the mini ramp. Now, I'm not a mini ramp champ. I don't, I don't have like thousands of tricks on the mini ramp but anything that i can do i'll try to do you know every different way you can do it mm. front side back side switch front side switch back side gotcha and nice. see if i can pull it off yeah. and uh some are easier than others but it's been a lot of fun just trying this stuff how many yeah. have you so, done so far i don't even count them no this one the I one that i did it for that. um 2017 i did one for every day of the year i started on january 1st and I made it all the way around to December 31st. You and did, I did 365 wow. different tricks. Yes. I didn't even know there I were that a, many. I did a trick. Well, that's Real. the funny thing. When I started it up, it was our buddy, Paul Luna. He's like, do you even know 365 different tricks? I'm like, I have no idea, but I'm going to start this and see how far it goes. Did you write it down? That one I did because okay. I had to I had to write it down to make sure I didn't repeat myself. There you go. And like lose my train of thought or like, you know, yeah. who knows? I might just forget. Yeah. So it helped me work out where I was going, but I didn't write it down before I did it. I wrote it down after I did it. Yes. Oh, wow. So right. It's not like I had a list, like I have to do this on this day, this on this day, oh. I'm going to do all these. No, it's whatever worked that day and whatever felt good. Hmm. And then follow that, that train of thought through the rest of the it week. It seems like you would have to have some sort of checklist to kind of like check Whoa. off. But if you're like, yeah, mm -hmm. I was going to say well, sometimes it depended on where I was at that day. Like yeah. so I wasn't always like at a park or, even at home or somewhere yeah. familiar. Sometimes I have to look around and see what was there and just do a trick on that. And like, yeah. what haven't I done yet? And or what wasn't there? Yeah. Just the flat ground. Yeah. 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 So what, what started all this was doing a kickflip a day. Right. In 2016, I realized like, you know, I'm not getting out to skate as much as I want to. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do a kickflip every day. Even if I'm not skating that day, I'm going to walk outside my house, hit the sidewalk right in front of my house, do a kickflip, come back in. And some days that's all it was. Yeah. Some days I'd seriously just no warm up, no nothing, walk out, do a kickflip first try, put the board away and carry on with my day. Right. And if that was all I got, that's all I got. And uh, that was fine. And other days I get to actually go skate and go out and do stuff. And then while, while I'm out, I'd get a kickflip while I'm at it too, mm -hmm. film it and put it up. And wow. that's what, what made me make it on that year all the way to the end was that was the first year I decided to film it, film the process and let people in to see it. And then they're kind of holding you more accountable. Right. Yeah. Because we had probably tried maybe four or five years before that in a row to do it. And usually around April, it starts to taper off. Yeah. And you just, you know, you miss a day and you're like, oh, that's it. I didn't make it. For me, it's like January, it tapers off. <laughs> yeah. It starts and then it's gone. Yeah. yeah. It's Dude, like January it's 3rd, it's, it's like gone. I remember Mike Mo, he was doing the, you had to do the first, he had to not, wait, he had to land it, came up the whole time. He couldn't mess up on first a first try, flip. right? No, first. no, it was. I think it was. He could never mess up on a kick. Oh yeah, oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Did he? How he made it quite. A, he a, made it far, then he fucked up yeah. once. Uh, You're right. And then it was like, but he, I think he at least had to try it once a day. Yeah. Nice. That yeah. was strong. Yeah. Yeah. Sure did. So now you're on your mini ramp. Go. You go back there, yeah. and you're you're trying to do a. You, you're not trying to do 360. I've done tricks that I haven't done in two decades recently <laughs> now i'm doing and some new shit i would imagine yeah, yeah. well I, I did i did some stuff i've never tried before yeah. because i'm trying the tricks four different ways and like i've yep. never tried that switch front side you yep. know yep like i'll give it a shot and oh uh my God. the hardest one so far was probably the front side half cab to rock fakie wait a minute wait a minute without going all the way around just come up oh with wow side half cab. front side half cab without all in just turn front okay. side half cab okay. turn into rock and, and come in straight fakie without turning it all the way around. Yeah. And oh. making that thing stop halfway was really hard because your shoulders want to keep going mm -hmm. and just turning into it 
the first few felt so awkward. And then once you get in, you keep sliding almost. Like, like your board will slide on the coping right. too, right? Yeah. yeah. Depending on which angle you're coming at. But dude, yeah. it, seems, it seems like the most simple trick that you might be like, oh, wick, I can do that shit. It's like, motherfucker, right. that shit's kind of hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, Especially if you're not me, Someone who knew how to do this stuff yeah. told me um, I was going up straight. And they said it's a lot easier if you go into it front side and uh, angle it a little bit because then it throws you toward the coping. The way I was doing it, I'm throwing my whole back away from the coping and it was just like infinitely harder right. to do it that way. Just go straight. So if you angle into it, it puts the coping right behind you where, where it should be. It makes it a lot easier. And once he said that, then okay, I tried some other stuff and it made sense for a lot of stuff. What size ramp are we talking about in your backyard? I have a four foot mini ramp. Four foot. Sure, okay. Fine. Yeah. And it's a pretty mellow transition. I think it's a seven and a half foot transition. Oh. So... Yeah, it's been it's been good for everything except for Smiths and Feebles because it's it's just mellow enough to where your wheels are touching on the top oh. and you don't get that space. Like if you hang a Smith, the wheels are still dragging. You can't get that, you know, yeah, that you're... loose good grind. You can't lock in as good. So we we so, were, we're we're counting Smiths out of the question for this trick a day thing. I could probably make it work, but okay. what I'll probably do is get somewhere where it's a little bit steeper transition, like at a local park or something. Gotcha. Oh, so you get those ones nailed out there. Uh, we're not. Okay. So you could travel yeah. around. You, right. you don't have to stick to the backyard ramp. Right. Gotcha. There you gotcha. Go. But man. while the kids are homeschooling, I don't have time to do that. I know. So yeah, I'm stuck here now. No, but I love it, man. I love that you're yeah. just, you know, posting this stuff and, and mm -hmm. keeping you know, keeping yourself busy doing this, even if you can't go out for a skate session, you know what I mean? It's almost like you're yeah, holding yourself you accountable for yeah, having fun. Too, yeah. Man. Yeah. That's, Cause you want to skate, cool. but you can't get out all day. You got other stuff you got to do. This is what I can do. So I'm going to do it as much as I can do it every day. And yeah, push myself a little bit. I love it. In any way I can. It, it really keeps you fit. Cause I, don't, yeah. I never was the guy that went to the gym right. or exercised or even stretched. I don't do any of that. <laughs> All I do to stay fit is go skateboarding. Yep. That's it.